everybody, God bless you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Kate, and today I want to talk about faith. I want to talk about how the enemy loves to attack our faith, whether we are high in the Lord or whether we are low. Um, he loves to attack our faith. That is something that we saw with Adam and Eve. He planted a seed of doubt and came after their faith and their knowledge of God. And uh, this is something I actually wanted to share in my testimony video that I uploaded a little while ago, but I forgot to mention it. And it's probably better that I forgot because I did want to, I did want to talk about this. So uh, maybe it's better that I have a separate video about this. So if you haven't seen my testimony video already, um, I'm going to link it in this YouTube video down below in the information section. So um, yeah, faith, uh, what an interesting topic because, you know, obviously for the ones who have heard my testimony, the Lord has blessed me with uh, a beautiful, you know, powerful testimony of the Lord Jesus in my life um, in Jerusalem and also, you know, uh, prophetic words that he's told me that have come to pass. and. And um, it, it, it was so incredible that I was, you know, 100% sure that God was real coming from being an atheist to being such a on fire believer for the Lord. I was so excited to share him with everyone I, I knew. And, and at that time, my ex-boyfriend, and he was he wasn't ready to hear about the Lord yet. But, um, you know, it, I was 100% sure God was real. And here's how the enemy works. He will attack your mind um, through people or through your mind in many different ways. And I wanted to share that piece of testimony as well because I was so on fire for God. I was born again. I was reading the word. I knew the Bible was real. Um, and it came to a point where I went from 100% knowing that God is real, down to 99.9%. .9 and you wonder, how did that happen, Anna? You had such a, you know, such an amazing revelation of God. You know, you felt the Holy Spirit in Jerusalem at the Western Wall. You were full of the Spirit. You heard angels singing. You know, you felt the glory of God. You knew you were in heaven. Like, all of these amazing things. But still, the enemy was able to shake me. Um, he was trying to shake my faith and, you know, make me believe God wasn't real, but obviously the testimony of the Lord um, was just too strong. And what happened with me when I got saved right around April 2016, um, the enemy started attacking my mind and I started hearing, you know, constantly, God isn't real, God isn't real, God is not real, God isn't real, God isn't real. It was constant. It was so constant and I kept fighting that thought. I kept saying, no, 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 God is real. Nope. He showed me that in Jerusalem. Nope. Uh, he, you know, he was prophesying to me. Everything is coming to pass what he said. Like, there's no way you're going to shake my faith. And I didn't know at the time it was the enemy because I was so new in the faith, but I kept saying, nope, God is hundred percent real, hundred percent real. Nope. 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 I kept fighting those thoughts. That's why Apostle Paul says, renew your mind every day. Um, because you know, the enemy will attack you and will try to plant seeds of doubt within you. Even if you have uh, a profound testimony of Jesus and God being real, the, the enemy will attack your faith in any different way, whether it be distractions, whether it be thoughts of, um, you know, faithlessness and, and saying maybe you're not worthy, God isn't real, or all of these different ways the enemy will attack your mind. And that's why you constantly have to renew your mind in the word, in God, and through meditation, through prayer, through reading his word. There's so many different ways to do it um, in worship and praise, you know, to renew your mind. And here's what happened with me right after I got saved. Um, like I was saying before, the enemy kept attacking my mind, kept attacking me with these thoughts of God's not real, God's not real, God's not real. And I kept fighting it. And I got attacked so heavily that I, I went from saying in my mind, right, I'm 100% sure God is real. I went to saying, well, okay, well, 99.9% .9 sure God is real. I don't know why that number, I don't even know why I was shaking to the point, but that's how much of an attack I had on my mind that God isn't real, that it shook me from 100% to 99.9%. .9 and I kept saying that in my head. I didn't share that with anyone. Again, I didn't really have any Christian friends, but, um, you know, I, I and the enemy kept trying to shake me even from that point. Um, 
in any way that he could and there was many different ways he did but I kept saying okay I'm 99% sure God is real and um, what here's what happened God is so good because he knows your struggles he knows your thoughts he knows your heart he knows um, the enemy's attacks he knows what you're going through and it he answered that piece of doubt I had in my mind about him being real and is this possible the, the God of the universe spoke to me and and, and you know had poured out his Holy Spirit on me in Jerusalem when I was 18 is this all possible you know um, that seed of doubt that the enemy was planting within me that you know like I said before planted within a uh, Adam and Eve especially Eve having doubt having her doubt you know God's commandments what God said um, and and the enemy had me doubting as well uh, what God said what God did how God revealed himself the testimony everything so here's what happened I had a phone call from a new Christian friend of mine um, and she gave me a call uh, you would know who she is she's a very well-known conservative Christian girl she's amazing um, and she gave me a call one day and told me about the attacks that she had from the enemy really really crazy attacks all over the I mean it was bad she was even getting death threats from Isis she told me and uh, I believe it obviously you know She's very well-spoken, outspoken, Christian conservative, Trump supporter and all of that on, on, on television and, and whatnot. And, uh, and so um, I was like, wow, I, we, need, we need to pray for you, girl. We need to pray for you. I prayed for her on the phone call. And then I told her I need to organize a prayer call for you um, with some friends of mine, um, one, one of them being a wonderful father in the faith for me, um, you know, spiritual you know, spiritual daddy in a way. Um, he, I became, you know, I was really close with him and still am. And I told her we need to get on a prayer call with him. And uh, if he wants to bring anyone else on the line to pray for you, we need to cover you in prayer. And she was like, okay, amen, absolutely. So we scheduled a time to have this prayer call. And I gave her a call uh, and my, and my uh, spiritual, you know, spiritual dad, he brought another gentleman along on the phone call as well, another brother in Christ. And so, so we were on the phone and I remember, I remember this phone call so well. Um, I, I started first, I started praying first and I was just praying over her and, and we were praying and I was praying and um, you know, praying in the spirit and just praying and protection over her and you know, spiritual, some spiritual warfare. Even though I was like new in the faith, I was just praying. I don't know if I even made sense, but um, the Lord knows your heart and knows your prayers and understands them. And so uh, I was just praying protection over her and just like a lot of different things. And, um, and then what happened was while I was praying, while I was praying, I was probably praying for about I don't know, maybe five or six minutes, but while I was praying, I started seeing a very foggy image, very foggy. It was as if I was looking through clouds. Um, and I saw her, who I'm praying for, I saw her, as I was praying, I saw her very, it was very fuzzy, very blur, you know, very foggy vision of her standing on the clouds very tall and this by the way she's very she's tall as it is you know in real life but I saw her she was even taller she was like six four six five in this vision and I didn't realize I was having a vision I've never had a vision before this was actually in fact my first vision it was very foggy but I knew what I was looking at and I saw her standing on the clouds with a sword in her hand with a shield in her other hand and just standing so fierce she was standing so fierce she was just standing like this and she was wearing uh, she looked like a soldier she had you know like an armored skirt she had a um, you know like a whole armor right uh, I remember her shoulder like she had armor shoulder and it was it was you know it was it was interesting I was like wow this is so cool so I'm, I'm looking at it but I'm wondering what in the world am I seeing uh, it was again foggy and 
but I know what I'm looking at and I don't know why I am seeing this. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I've never had a vision before. I don't know if I should share this on the phone call because again, I'm praying and I'm seeing this and I was too scared to mention it because I, did, I didn't want them to think I was crazy, right? And um, so I didn't mention it. And then my, my uh, father, you know, father, you know, spiritual father, he jumped on the call, uh, uh, jumped into prayer right after me. And he started praying. He's a prophet. And he's a beautiful prophet, like beautiful, um, beautiful prayers, powerful prayers. And, and when he, uh, when he prophesies, he prophesies like in a rhythm, like in a very beautiful, um, like spiritual rhythm. It's beautiful. And um, anyway, so he's praying and he's, you know, praying in the spirit, praying with English is praying the spirit, praying in English, and he just starts prophesying over her. And then he says this, and, uh, and again, I'm, I have her on speaker now, and I'm just like listening, and, and I'm just praying with them. And and he starts saying, he mentions her name. He's like, hey, you, I see you standing on the clouds, dressed as Wonder Woman, standing fierce and bold. <laughs> And, and, and he just keeps going on. And I'm just dumbfounded. I'm, I'm shocked. I, I, I'm like, what did he just say? And he just keeps going on and on. I, you know, I see standing in the clouds, standing fierce and mighty as a wonder woman dressed as wonder woman. And I freaked out. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I completely cut him off from, from praying. I mean, Lord, forgive me. He was in the middle of praying. And I was just like, no, wait, 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 wait. I have to say this. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. And they were like, what, what? And I'm like, I, I just saw the same thing. Like I saw the exact same thing. I, it was very fuzzy and very foggy and very blurry, but I know what I saw. I saw her standing, you know, I, I, I'm, what, what's happening right now? And they, you know, they're all laughing. They're all like, that's amazing, Anna, amen. Well, not laughing, but like, you know, um, just congratulating and, and, and just pr blessing and praising God for my first vision. And so I had my first vision. And it's so amazing because, and it was actually funny because the girl that we were praying for, she was like, um, she was like, wait, what, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm going to die soon? And it's like, no, 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 no. We, we're seeing, um, you know, our spirits are seated in high places with Christ. And so um, I saw her spirit standing there, tall, mighty, fierce, bold, because she's a bold Christian. She's very bold. And, um, you know, mighty standing as a Wonder Woman. And I didn't even realize that that was like a Wonder Woman outfit. I don't know why that, that word didn't come to me, but I knew what I was looking at. I was, I saw her standing dressed as like a female warrior. And here, um, here, you know, here's my friend, uh, you know, my, my, my brother in Christ, father in Christ. He was like, yeah, this is, you I see you standing dressed as Wonder Woman. And I remember I was just so amazed and praise God, you know, when I, I, I've had, visions after that as well, much more clear. Um, and it was actually prophesied to me from someone I never even met. He said, you're going to start seeing clearer visions and, and, and all of that. And praise God that has happened. But the reason why I'm sharing this testimony is because, um, I, the enemy got me from a hundred percent sure in God to 99% sure in my mind, right? And in, 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 like in, within me, I was like, ah, I'm like 99% sure. And this is how awesome God is, is that he sent this vision. And um, as soon as I had that vision, even though it was foggy, even though it was foggy, I thought to myself, wow, God is 100% real because how can I have a vision, the exact vision someone else has because I didn't share it. Remember, I was not scared, but I was just like, oh my God, what am I seeing? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna share this. I think they're gonna think I'm weird, you know? And I didn't share it. And there, um, you know, my brother in Christ jumped on the, you know, jumped in, into prayer and saw the same thing. And when I realized that God showed the same vision to me and to, um, and to my brother in Christ, I thought, wow, how could the enemy get me? He shook me. He sh was shaking my faith. And, and no, no, God is 100% real. So that's how gracious God is, is that when you're struggling with faith, and, and I remember I kept, um, you know, I kept praying into it. I'm like, Lord, you know, I, I don't know why I'm having these doubts. I don't want to have any, I don't want to have these doubts. I don't know why I'm shaking to 99%. Could you get me back to 100%? 
because I don't, I, I, I know you're real. I believe you're real. I don't know why my faith is being shaken so hard. And God was so gracious enough to give me that vision. Um, something I can't deny, something that you can't make up, something that, I mean, so random, you know, praying for a sister in Christ that she's standing on the clouds dressed as Wonder Woman. And here I have a brother in Christ, you know, a, a, a spiritual father in the faith who, who, you know, praise God taught me so much. Um, here he was having the same exact vision. <clears throat> Only God can do that. Only God can do that. What a random thing to see um, that I saw that he saw. How amazing is that? such a random thing to see and it just you know I was like okay Lord like amen thank you for that thank you for that vision because I know you're real so even though the enemy shakes you tries to shake you any way that he can God is real God is great God knows the struggles you're going through if you're if you're dealing with um, you know shaking of, of your faith Know that God is good and God is real and ask the Lord, hey Lord, would you um, give me the spirit of faith? Because it is a gift of the spirit and it is, uh, it, you know, it, it's a gift and he will increase it within you if you ask him to. And it's something that even sometimes I have to still pray for and ask for, like, Lord, would you increase my faith? I'm being shaken again. And because the devil will try to get you to doubt him, doubt his goodness, doubt your testimony. The devil will have you doubt things you've seen. And it was, it's so funny because, um, you know, the devil tries to come at me in different ways and tries to shake my faith. And it's so funny because after that, for a long time, the enemy like left me alone because <laughs> I wasn't being, sh I was like, nope, that, you're not going to shake me now. I mean, I can't deny the entire testimony that the Lord has revealed and also this vision now um, that was so random and um, the Lord was able to, again, bring another witness to that vision. Um, and so that was beautiful. And I just want to encourage you that the enemy loves to test us. The enemy loves to, um, well, actually, the, the Lord allows it. The Lord allows his testing. Um, but, the, but the enemy loves to shake our faith and he loves to shake our, you know, knowledge of God, loves to come out, come to, you know, he, he's, he's like a raven who flies around and likes to just eat up the seeds that are in the field, um, the seeds of faith, the seeds of, of knowledge of God, our testimony. So don't let him, you know, be a little fox and steal those seeds and eat them up. Um, he, uh, he's, he's very wicked in his schemes and they're not random. They're totally planned and planned out with his little minions and uh, just bring it to the Lord and say, Lord, you know, I repent. I forgive me for, um, you know, this lack of faith I'm having recently. Would you increase this faith within me? Would you prove to me again in your own way um, that I can understand, you know, that you're real and, and just would you speak to me in vision or a dream or, or whatever? Um, God is good and gracious enough to do that. I wasn't expecting him to answer that way. Uh, it was a blessing. It was, it, it, you know, I was, I was so excited and so joyful and so happy that A, I had a vision, but B, that God was good to, um, you know, I was, I was seeking him and, and he was so great you know when you seek him you will find him and you know if you ask questions he will answer them if you knock the door will be open to you and I'm so grateful that the Lord jumped in and was like okay well while you're praying for your friend while you're praying for your sister in Christ I'm gonna bless you with a vision to show you that I am in fact real and the devil is a liar <laughs> The devil loves to kill, steal, and destroy. He loves to destroy your faith. He loves to kill your, um, you know, understanding and knowledge of God. He, he'll do it in any way that he can. Um, so, you know, uh, just focus on the Lord and, and ask him to increase your faith because he will. He did it for me. He surely will do it for you. Jesus is amazing. Father God is amazing. The Holy Spirit is amazing. And the enemy is a liar. He's a liar who loves to come after your faith. Don't let him. 
Um, you know, if, if it has, bef- you know, if he did before or he's doing it now, it's okay. God is greater than he that is in the world. God is so much greater than this little defeated enemy that we have that we will only uh, deal with for so long until we are with the Lord for all eternity, enjoying happiness and with him, praising him, worshiping him for all eternity. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching. Um, If you would like to subscribe for more videos, subscribe down below, share this video. If you know anyone that is struggling, struggling with faith, uh, we all do. It it, it happens here and there. And the enemy especially loves to attack the young sheep, like the the baby ones. He loves to attack them. So keep your, um, you know, young sheep, uh, brothers and sisters in prayer. Share this video if you want with them. I mean, I I pray it's encouraging. And and, um, and a testament and a testimony to how awesome God is to answer our prayers and, and to bring us back to a place where we cannot be shaken, right? It says in Revelation that everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Everything will be shaken except our faith, right? Have such a strong faith in the Lord that the, no matter what the enemy does, no matter if he has a sword in his hand ready to behead you, that your faith will not be shaken because it is those who endure till the end that shall be saved. That shall be saved. Amen. Well, I bless you in Jesus' name, and I'll see you next time. God bless.